General Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. Everybody else can see on the screen. This is the program. I uh, might not be able to see well, but for now, <laughs> this is just the. Uh, but we have some uh, sort of words and options here. Clearly. So all all this is is just saying uh, what can we randomize the stuff we can customize in the uh, randomizer for Mario three. Uh, so Budsy, we did agree we should maybe do a fifty fifty on the hammers breaking logs. Yeah, we're gonna make that interesting. Okay. Anything else uh, while we're even here? Just go, I, I mean, I did the the normal uh, faster sun, faster boss pass because. Who doesn't want to see a faster starting sun and a faster overall moving boss pass, you know? I just want to see you get eight, personally. <laughs> so. uh, uh, I think that was really the only ones I think that we were really contemplating. But other than that, I think everything else would be, be okay. Boss levels are in there. Okay, so tell me how many times you want me to hit new seed to shuffle the seed number. Like, you know, if, like a couple, a handful. You're talking to me? Yeah, you. How okay. many times you want me to hit... I'll, I'll hit this new oh. seed. So if you do, like, three okay. times, five times, I'll hit it that many times, and that'll be whatever right. seed I play right now. <laughs> okay, hit it six times. One, two, three... Three, five, six. It actually does what I want it to do. There we go. So four, three, nine, one, two, one, two, nine, six, one, one, oh. I will not remember that number. So, <laughs> so we hit generate and I will take this back off. Why aren't you going to remember get... the number flyer? <laughs> I'll pull up the program again. So I'm going <laughs> to get that. I'm going to get that transferred over onto my uh, SD card so I can get it into my EverDrive. All right. What you see on the right-hand side of your screen, folks, we have a... This is the uh, randomizer tracker that was designed by Macobra52, who is a very, very well-known in the Super Mario Bros. 3 randos, uh, randomizer scene. Um, top tournament player. Um, also has just come out with this crazy... He was showcasing a Kaizo patch earlier, and he's just... He really, really really likes to torture people but anyway so what you see here we're going to keep track of all the worlds we see as well as fortresses airships um for each world because they will appear randomly throughout the uh throughout this randomizer scene which is it's a very nice it's a very nice helpful tool and that's way there you can kind of see what you may you know what you may uh encounter later on in the uh in the seed and you will be you will get lucky and maybe skip some forts or you may have to play them all. We'll see. It's random, okay, folks. So, so at the bottom of the screen, there's the, the first set of numbers after PRG0, which is the uh, version of the uh, the game United uh, for USA. PRG0, which is the left bro cartridge. And we have 439, 121, 296, 110. And then the flag set, uh, basically just saying, what did, I, what did I randomize exactly? And everything looks correct. So let's get this going. This will be the seed. And I'm ready okay, we to like We also like to add that World 8 always stays as I'm, the last world in World 8. So. Yes. Uh, do you want me to spam the, the the first player, second player, so you can hear audio real quick, uh, Andrew? Yeah, because at the moment, I don't hear audio. Right, yeah, because of the oh, selecting there screen. There it is. Okay. Yeah, now I hear you it. got it. Ooh. All right, what do we think the first uh, world's going to be, folks? Yeah, let's get a quick prediction in chat. What world do you think we're going to start? Any any world from one to seven. One through seven. A, Drop yeah. a one through seven in chat. What's going to be the first world? General Andrew says two. And of course, since I just rolled the seed, we don't know. I don't even know what to expect in this seed. Oh, and yeah, also, three, I wanted to. Um, so, in in the rando community, this that's something we also do is uh, predict. But usually, there are forks in the road in some of the world maps where you can choose one side. And if it's a bad level, we usually just you know take a, a quick death and go the other side. But just for the event, and we're doing it for a good cause. 
if we see any of the nightmare levels, we call it, and Budsy will explain them as we uh, go along the way, I will play them no matter what. I will not skip them. Just for you guys. Just so Let's we can showcase... Let's pray for beta level Atlantis, folks. <laughs> Alright. Um, right, I'm, right, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Alright, who's ready? Okay, I'm, I'm ready to go. So, uh, well, oh, I'll count down from Perfect. three, and then as, as soon as I say go, you can start it then? That sounds great to me. All right, so in three, two, one, go. All right, row one right off the bat. All right, as you can see, we've got two locks and two forts. This is already what we call an, an invalid sea. This is three fort two. This is the underwater fortress. Normally, nine times out of ten in randomizer, we see this in world eight. And I'm actually quite shocked to see it in world one. So as a big running meme from the community, we call this an invalid sea. So right away, this has no cred whatsoever. Now, 3F2 stays fairly vanilla as you get the stretches all over the place and a couple of cheap sheeps. And we'll go right to the boom boom fight here. Oh, nobody in chat was able to guess the correct world, but all very nice guesses. And I'm gonna use my tracker here to mark down which fort so I don't forget. I mean, I, I don't think I can forget that. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. He gets the 50 50, picks the right fort to unlock the. Unlock the path to the castle. Here we got hand stage two. And you do get an item here. It's normally a leaf in a vanilla game, but in rando, what's it going to be? It's gonna be a star. So well, if it I could fire, it, it, it could be a leaf, but thankfully I mean that probably would have took it. So if you come across the other two hand stages at any point in the game, you will still get a star. So here we go, we got a hammer brother here, and he gets a star for a star. Just for that. I see the trade. We'll We'll go in the mushroom house just just for just for the reasons. Now, early on in Rando, if you have a quick world oh. on and they're gonna get a frog suit. <laughs> Human muscle frog would be proud. <laughs> Alright, what airship we're we gonna have? We've got world two. Oh, we also like to add that all the auto scrollers in randomizer are turned off. Except for Ex three exceptions. Three exceptions. Coin Heavens, five nine, and the beta level we call Atlantis. Alright, so we've got Larry here. Oh, Larry's heavy! We've got a heavy Larry. And it's only a two-hitter! So that was a very nice, very quick world one. Now, the yeah, Koopa, so... Kids in, Koopa Kids and Randomizer can be either one hit and all the way up to five hits. Correct. And I think two of them at random will be Earthquake, if I'm not mistaken. I think. I don't remember that um, statistic, but I think that sounds about right. Two. Oh, I just realized we have a v Vanilla World Order going on here. I guess we've got World 2. Is this even randomized? But we got 5-1 here. On the World on the world 2 uh, on the world two Overworld map now. It's always nice to get a fire flower halfway through a level here. You can actually sweep away a lot of enemies, provided that they're not fire snakes, because you cannot kill those with fire flowers. Alright, so we get a we get a lock blocking the pipe here, so we have to take a linear way through two here. And as you can see, we've got one three. Oh! Okay, I don't know how high fire honestly survived that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's okay, go for we the get item a fire here. nipper right there. He's gonna want to go for the <laughs> item that's back here. Normally, you find a warp whistle in this hidden mushroom house. But let's see what we're gonna get here. Yeah, some of these enemy sets of can be really nasty. All right, you get a cloud. That clouds are very useful in randomizer. You get a problem level, or if you want to, if you're in a race and you want to get ahead of your opponent, you can get right to the castle, provided that you don't die. That'd be nice. Okay, <laughs> one five can be a very nuisance level, as you can see. Going downhill. Okay, we build a little P speed. Oh, I Going tried for the tunnel. For Going for the yeah. tunnel. Got sticky held there a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. At least it wasn't a, a fireball shooting plant. <laughs> 
Yeah, so right off the bat, you have to play three levels, and let's see if, and what we got going on over here. All right, so... Okay, so... No hammer, so we're gonna have to do this instead. Here we go, we've got 542 right now, commonly known as Lava Fort. And we're gonna give the Dry Bones a little bit of a kiss right here. And the star is not gonna be enough to get the star kill here on Moon Moon, so we're just gonna keep on going. Okay, Boom Boom is still the traditional three stomps and out. Ooh, you know what? I will play this, bro. Let's see what item I get. Okay, double boomerang, bro, here. Gonna take the mushroom and does. Ooh, an anchor. And no! a fire flower. Oh, it just oh. missed it. <laughs> you had to win, right, didn't okay. you? Yeah, I I forgot about it. Okay, so we break the lock, go back to the pipe, and we're gonna skip these three levels and pretty much go right to the castle, get out of world two. And this airship is it's world six. We gotta get this clip here. Right. Could we get a first I, class meal? I, I forgot okay. I disabled clipping. <laughs> uh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, for this scene we cannot clip through walls, so Normally, in vanilla, we clip through seven, uh, level 7-1, but if we draw 7-1 on the map, we will have to play it. Oh, Fire will have to play it. I'll just watch him and make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we had All a right. two-hit Morton. Okay, we've seen worlds 1 and 2 so far. Like I said, is this even randomized, folks? You know, that's a that's another thing. There's a few memes, but really cool if it ever happens in the randomizer. That so far we're actually two worlds in, and it's still alive. So let's yeah, see how so it we goes still have like right now. We could we have vanilla world order? Of course, everybody hopes for reverse world order, which is another meme in the community. Oh my Don't god! Look at this world three <laughs> fire! I think you hit a wrong button. <laughs> Here we go, Fort Knox seven Fort one. A common rule of randomizer, especially in a race setting, you see a fort and play a fort. And of course, seven fort one. We're gonna go down and get our Tsunuki suit, as uh, frog, fr frog friendly has not been checked off. No. Now we're gonna take our little time here. Now we go into the. This is, but this is typically the second room, and we're gonna get our flight. Very nice. So yeah, this 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 level is actually a good example of the item the item in the blocks are not randomized because you have to be able to complete the level with the Tanuki suit. Oh, of course, we get seven eight early on in the bat, but we do this is the uh, this is the vanilla speedrun strat there for the damage boost. Seven eight in vanilla Mario three is hard enough. Well, let's throw a boss pass in there too, why don't we? <laughs> so as I, I, escape, I had I had a feeling he was gonna show up. This is a level he normally will show up. <laughs> Oops. I didn't do that. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, knowing you can get that secret power up there in 7-8, which is normally a hammer suit, it's a, it's a very good out if you're running yourself into trouble. Okay, pipe takes you to the center of the screen here. Now, which one of these remaining three pipes is the pipe to Wendy? Uh, I can only imagine. It certainly yep. wasn't that one. <laughs> so because of that, we know that the pipe right below that question mark there, that is the correct path. What we item we gotta get from the coin ship here? A music box. <laughs> can come in handy. It can. Oh, I thought I thought it was it. <laughs> here we go. Four four now. Oh, no peace. 
All right, looks like we're, we're oh, you you have to not to scuba dive. I admire it. Look at that! Oh boy! Oh, we get the second we get the second lagging two up top. I didn't get to see him for once. <laughs> I know, like you never see you never see the second lagging two. That's why you get bombarded with spiny shells usually at the end of Vanilla Four Four. Let's see. We're gonna yeah. check the pipe and see if maybe there's not a lock here. Let's yeah, see. There shouldn't be. And look at that! Right on out. First fort was the answer to break the lock here. And here we go. We are now on World Seven airship. Here we go. We're gonna see some nice P speed going through. Just make nice quick work of this. As long as you clear that big section. And one of the toughest fights is easy. Look at that, a one-hit <laughs> Wendy, folks. One-hit Wendy with platforms. Not something you see very often. <laughs> usually it's... Usually it's watch out, because... Oh, yeah. Hey, Wendy, period, is a hard fight. If you don't have a Fire Flower. Hitbox is totally fair. Let me just... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just got lucky there, and she was only a one-hitter. <laughs> okay, we've seen worlds one, two, and three. No way. you got to be kidding oh. me, folks. <laughs> oh, my God. The dream is still alive. All right, so we have a bridge and a lock. So it's a one-foot world four. Yeah, only one of them will be required because you only need to uh, play one to br make that bridge, so... Hmm. Okay, at least it's not a no. Okay, in the 3-4. Take a damage boost. And regains fire, which is... There we go, Sniper Hocus. Hocus. <laughs> <laughs> That's another meme in the uh, vanilla SMB 3 speedrunning community. Alright, so let's see. Will this be the right fort? And we've got we've got eight fortress right now. Oops. I questioned that hitbox there from the waffle. <laughs> I yeah. get a saying. I disagree, game. Right, let's see if we, we can go. get the one cycle. This is actually pretty hard in rando, depending on the enemy set you have. Yeah, because the, the roto disc will turn the other way. You might have a dry bones, you might have a boo, and in this case we had a hot foot. But look at that, one cycle. Very nice. Yeah, luckily in the second door, if there's a boo there by the, ro the, by the waffles, it's actually pretty doable, so... Not lucky there. Yeah. Was that the answer? Let's see. Yes, yeah, it, was. it was. Look at that. There is the correct fort. We'll just take a pipe, skip that level. Left out there. And we're just gonna skip the uh, skip the hammer bros, put him to sleep, and we've got the world five airship. No, it's world one airship. Excuse me. They're the same color at the start. Yeah, <laughs> I, I always get, I get confused that too. when I see this color airship. I use most nine times out of ten, we'll say it's world one. <laughs> okay, Iggy. Oh. oh, Iggy's a jumper, folks. Yep, not what you want to see. Oh, you okay, almost so skipped three me. and a five hitter, a five hit Iggy. That's what it was. Oh, and they did Fort Knox. How much would have been to see Fort Knox? Oh my god, dude. I mean, uh, we, we've got the no world order so far. It, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't remember. I mean, I do remember the last time I even had one, but it's crazy. Are we our, our oh. oh, here we go. All right, finally. It really is a randomizer, see, folks. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, World 7. World 7 can be very, very tough in randomizer. 
There are so many pipes and so many paths. So right away, we already found the path. Flyer already found the path to the final island. And he has a bridge to build, but he has to find the correct fort. And I believe there are two forts on... There's going to be two forts here. Mm, it's hard to tell. I didn't see them. I didn't pay attention. I just saw three pipes and had to pick one. <laughs> All right, here we go. 2-2 two, two now. We're just gonna take a nice ride over the moat. Until we didn't. <laughs> nice jump flyer. <laughs> I was hoping there was a Koopa there. <laughs> you know this is randomizer, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you never know. <laughs> Alright. I'm hoping okay. this- I mean, I had to play this level anyway, so I'm hoping this pipe actually brings me somewhere that isn't to the right. Oh, or there. Of course. <laughs> troll pipe. Even though there's a mushroom there's a mushroom house there, it's still a troll pipe, because you just- that's the only place you have to go. Oh, don't mind that. I didn't realize I had my alerts on. <laughs> Uh, Alright, we see one boy. fort on the center island, but we have to get into another pipe to access it. So, like... The pipes can really take you anywhere. This is Ooh, a... There, right, we so there we go, we got the right... There we go, we got the right pipe. We've got two fort now. And it screws us a nice P-speed. Jumps over the hot foot. Now, the hot foots... The hot foots in the fortresses and randomizer are truly evil. They just have minds of their own. A lot of them just come right at you and don't stop. Yeah, they they can either have the vanilla movement where they'll only come after you if you're looking away from them. But in here, there's some that we call them rogue hotfoots, where they have like a certain set pattern, the way they move left and right. But um, yeah, sometimes they'll catch you off guard. <laughs> All right, we've got this fort. Let's see if this is the answer to build the bridge on the final island here. I think that was the only fort, so it should be... I think you're right, that is the only fort. This is a one fort world seven. I didn't see any locks either. Yep, that's yep, right, one fort go. world seven. So what do we got here? We've got five two. No boss bass, no boss bass. <laughs> that's funny, when you fall down there, you see a boss bass, it's pretty much goodbye. Yeah, yeah, just don't hug to the right like in vanilla, basically. Right. <laughs> We did have oh, a fire stick wow. on top of the walk room. And then we got... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call that a questionable hitbox, too. That looked a little far away, don't you think? Yeah, just a little. <laughs> Alright, so we did 2F. We're gonna take a safety star in here. Alright, let's see what kind of item we're gonna get at the Piranha Plant level. There we go. For his trouble, Flyer gets a P Wing. Which I will use right now. Out of the airship, we've got World 4's airship. Typically the slowest, but because the auto scrolls are turned off, we're gonna fly right through it. And Fire Flower. Oh, Ludwig is heavy, just like a vanilla, but a nice fire kill, though. We knew it was going to be more than one hit. The fire kill took care of that. So how many hits was Ludwig? We will never know. We never know. <laughs> Maybe It'll better be off keeping it that way. <laughs> It'll remain one of one of the great mysteries, just like how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. We will never know. Oh, can we do 765, maybe? Can we do a vanilla and reverse order, maybe? That'd be kind of nice. I would like to see World 6 now. That'd be cool. Ah, uh, uh, of course well, you say some. Of course. Alright, we've got Ice Fort, 6F2. Star comes in very handy, especially getting through these swamps. It's going to get you through nice and quick, as long as you don't slide into that pit. There we go. No one's ever done that before. No, not at all. Never.
All right, so that builds the bridge. Now, oh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a gamble because not knowing where those pipes go, they can go. Well, I mean, they they both have to lead to the sky. They can't lead to each other. And which one one's the better one? No. And one of these pipe animations, well, if you see Mario falling from the sky, that's the pipe that will lead you to the Twisty Castle. And it's if I do, castles. I'll... Uh, yeah, it's a Twisty I'll, Castle I'll, appears on the top half of the stage. Yeah, if I do go down that pipe, I'm going to actually take an intentional death to see... We'll see, and you'll see why. Yep, you'll see it right now. There it is. And you'll see exactly why, because when you do take an intentional death here, you'll actually see where you end up, so that actually is the correct path. I don't have another music. I don't have another music box. Because if this would have led further away, I... Oh, wow, there's... Two blue locks? I've never seen that before. Huh. Of course. When I use a frog suit, there's always lava. <laughs> of course! How would Not there the... be? Oh, and it's a star! <laughs> well, I swear, hey. anytime I use frog suit, there is always lava in the level. Every time. Got all hand hey, well, stages. Our stars have a, for the uh, item at the end. And it's funny, this is like a no fort. This is a, pretty much a zero fort. Only one is required as a, as a you know as a linear pass to the castle. Here we've got the navy here in World Eight. Just gonna fly right through that. The beauty of having no auto scrollers here. Just turned off. Make nice quick work of those. I'm kind of disappointed though. No nightmare levels yet. <laughs> kind of, I was kind of hoping to show, kind of showcase them. Be careful what you wish for, flyer. Ooh, can't well, click here, here seven, so we gotta seven. play it. Ooh, the sun. This could be spicy if I don't get him. All right, let's see if we can get the two cycle. Let's go. Let's go. Oof. We don't need four stars, we only need two. Well, bonk in the bonk in the second, you know, second set of pipes, and it's pretty much an R for GG. <laughs> Let's not here we are, the World 3 airship. Ugh. Doesn't get oh my log on the mast there. Shocker, star. a star in an airship. <laughs> Good to get you through all those pesky cannons and bullet bills. But you actually cannot star kill a Koopa Kid. That looks like a two-hit Roy right there. Now, I'm kind of hoping like we have World 6 left. So, this could either be really, really long World 6, or it could be really, really short, depending on the map layout. Depending on where the pipes end up. Oh yeah, if they're all in the beginning, this is going to be a very long World 6. <laughs> but I believe you still have a hammer in your uh, in your inventory. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, we don't even know if they break locks. It's it's a 50-50 the way I set this flash. Yeah, we, yeah, he hasn't tried to uh, use the hammer on the locks yet. That's what we got here. We got a fort right away and a lock on the first, on the first map here of World 6. And look at that, 6F1. Oh boy, he gets up there. That's right, clipping. Usually we go for a clip there in that first room, but clipping is turned off for the C. And here we go. Star right in the perfect spot. Gonna go for the star kill here. Okay, so that breaks the first lock right there. Here we go now, 1-4. Let's see some cool P-speed right through this level here. Eh, I messed it up a little bit, but I, wanted, I didn't want to fall into the pit. <laughs> well, look, that's a bad thing. <laughs> well, we even have a celebratory emo for that. Yes, we do. 
Oh, oh boy. Oh, be careful. Okay. Well, at least you should have a safety mushroom right afterwards. I guess another cloud, too. Let's see, what do we have here? Okay, so, so, we have another pipe. We're gonna check this pipe here. Troll pipe? Yes, troll pipe. no. It's okay, not. it's not. I don't like where that board is. There's something at the end. If there is a lock, I'll try to break it with a hammer. Let's test out the theory. Yeah, let's see if they actually do break or not. Ugh. It always makes for an interesting race setting when hammers MAY break locks. <laughs> Alright, so nice quick work for 7-3. Alright, let's see what we have here. Do we have a lock or a bridge? Let's see. We have a lock. Let's see if the hammer breaks locks. It does! Hammer breaks locks at Jet World 6. As we call it. Usually we call it, if, it, if we get through a world really quickly, we call it a Jet World or a Jet Seed. There we go. World 5 airship, there we go. Oh, he was a one-hitter! <laughs> well... <laughs> All those fireballs for nothing. <laughs> well, if you maybe... I don't know, maybe if you stomped on him first. And yeah. then charm later. But hey. Yeah. <laughs> you never know, folks. Yeah, you, you never, never know. know. Alright, so, like we said, World 8 always stays as the last world in Randomizer. Now, World 8, we call it the Great Equalizer for a reason. So... There's this multiple take, pipes everywhere. This could take There's, two minutes or it could take ten minutes. <laughs> absolutely. It could be either really, really quick or really, really long. Let's see what we got in the first map here. We got pipes and a world. Now, mind you, Flyer has a couple of clouds in his inventory. All right, so now we're yeah. on the hand stage map, so we're going to check out what's oh, this. Boy. Okay, so that brings you back there. Okay, I'm going to skip this gonna skip this world and see where this pipe takes us. And into the dark room, we have one lock right away, but we know a hammer breaks locks. I'm just kind of poking around. I saw Trying one to Find lock. the path to Bowser. Ugh. Okay, so we got one bridge. Which, which fortress will build the bridge? Oh, it is. Let's go. Okay, this is this is the Air Force. If you like, all the. Army, Navy, Air Force tiles in World 8 can be, except, like, because there's two Army tiles in World 8. This, because it's the Air Force, counts as a fort, which means this is the correct, this is the correct tank to play. Now, if you enter any one of those icons on screen and the tank disappears, you know that that tank is the fake tank. So, but, Fire here picked the right tank. So, see oh, the tank? that wasn't it. So the tank in the left-hand corner right there, that's a tank you do not play. And as you can see, it broke into the lock in the dark room, so that was not the answer. Oh no. Who let the dogs out? Oh, oh, oh boy. Geez. Okay. Oh we had a runaway boy. shop and a patui. I mean, this just spells disaster. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what, what? Oh god. All right. Oh. All right. There we go. Okay. Whew. All right, watch out for the pile driver that's in there, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine if there was an angry sun there, too. This is another known level for an angry sun here in Randomizer. Yeah, since I saw the plant set, I don't think there could be a sun or a boss pass with the plant set. So, in a way, that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's all depending on what you prefer. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I... What is this? I think it's just a mushroom. Oh, it's a fire Fire flower. Better four four two. So yeah, uh, do you want to explain to them the anchor prop, the properties of an anchor? Yeah. So when you get an anchor in randomizer, whether it's a hammer bro or a princess letter, that is a randomized power up. So in this case, the anchor was a fire flower. It can be anything: frog suit, hammer suit, star, cloud, you name it. And in this case, it happens to be a fire flower. So let's see. Yeah, in competitive, the only thing it cannot be is a hammer. Ooh, that was the one. That was the right four. We're going to claw it on in, and we're going to go to Bowser's Castle. No 
no clipping, so we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. That's right, and when you get to the statue room, the statue- <laughs> the, the lasers that come out of the statues are randomized. So, you can either get one, or you can get possibly all five. Go oh, down the, ooh, crap. let me take a, take a nice waffle down the way down. Okay, there's a power-up- two power-ups in this. <laughs> nice, that's eh. For the content, we'll go for the cuddle strats. Yes, absolutely. Oop. Okay, so we didn't see any lasers come out of there. It looks like we might get a troll laser at the very end of this lava room. So you can see the fireball patterns are randomized. Oh no, we got wow. lucky. Okay, got lucky. Alright, here we go. On to Bowser. And we're gonna do some cuddles and bubbles for the win, folks. Now, when you duck here in Bowser, Bowser's hitbox is only in his head, so if you stay right under him, if you're Big Mario, you duck. Or if you're Small Mario, you stay right by his foot, and, you'll, and as long as you stay away from its mouth, you will be out of danger. But just don't forget to move out of the way. Yeah. Just gonna kind of follow <laughs> Bowser over. So now we're one jump away from a victory right here, as you can see. Gonna jump on up. There goes Bowser! And there we have it. This wow. is actually a very quick seed for randomizer. With this flag set especially. <laughs> Absolutely. In time. Sorry, I forgot to mention time was when I entered the door. I'm so used to kicking my pedal. <laughs> Yeah, I think Hammer's Breaking Locks there actually kind of made it a little faster, but, I mean... Yeah, that, that was that's the joy of the 50-50. The you never know. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot of strategy behind that, um, having that set there. But yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Budsy, for, for doing comps. And, um, hey, Budsy, thanks for the invite. I appreciate it. I no Hope problem. you folks enjoyed the showcase of Super Mario Bros. 3 Randomizer. Yeah, and if anybody's in, you know interested, uh, I know the the command is is floating around in there. Um, you know, even and I, I I mean I know I made that look easy in in most cases, but you know being a vanilla warpless uh, speedrunner really does help. Um, but you know we do have uh, patches and settings to for beginners basically um, to for you know to start out and. You know, so it's not, you know, like, you know, nothing to be afraid of. It, it's really fun and, d d you know, the mystery of, you know, what to expect and um, seeing some of the, the enemy sets, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. <laughs> As you can see, there we got the random Discord there in chat. Definitely check it out. Uh, there are, try this seeds. there are some seeds that um, players will post up in there. Whether it be from tournament matches or just for fun or just for friendly races and whatnot. Pretty, pretty simple download, um, pretty easy to set up, um, you can play it on emulator if you have an EverDrive like I do, you can, you can play it on there, um, yeah, play it on yeah, console, I, emulator, mister, it works all around. Wow, that was so awesome, like, <laughs> it just kept on getting like, I can't believe it's this, no way, it's this, no way, it's this. Oh <laughs> no!